Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Nesting Parasalis. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the scorecard for life sciences. The scorecard for life sciences is much more different from that of the scorecard for physical sciences, chemical sciences, earth sciences and mathematical sciences. So I just made an exclusive video for scorecard details given for life sciences. Okay, so this video will be really helpful friends. So this is how the scorecard for life sciences will be. Basic details will be giving friends. Next is regarding the number of candidates in the subject. Like total number of candidates who registered for life sciences and total number of candidates who appeared for the life sciences CSC examination next i will be giving you applied for whether you are applied for jrf and ls next thing with regarding to nda score for life sciences student nowhere you can able to uh, know how many mark you are getting out of 200 that will be completely masked by the nda if you check the scorecard for l sciences physical sciences chemical sciences and mathematical sciences they will be giving you a maximum mark and marks up like individually if the part a the maximum mark is 30 means how many marks you are getting out of six like uh, how many marks you obtain out of 30 that will be given and in addition to that uh, if a student are applied for earth sciences physical sciences chemical sciences and mathematical sciences means he might know how many marks he got out of 200 whereas if you take for life sciences they will be releasing only the nta score okay nta score is nothing but percentage score so for these sciences the result will be released in percentage form where only their mark alone will be taken into account whereas if you take the scorecard for life sciences that will be released in nta score or percentage score already I made a video how percentage score or nta score is calculated they will be introducing a concept called normalization okay so if your if your total nta score is 97 means please don't think like a 97 mark you are getting out of 100 it is a percentage score like your mark will be your raw mark will be compared with the other raw mark like a raw mark for other student this is a percentage score they will be releasing a individual percentage score and the next important information you should know is that nowhere from NTA they will be releasing the raw mark that is for other sciences they will be releasing you how many mark that a student got out of 200 whereas for life sciences your raw marks or how many marks you got up or got out of 200 will not be revealed at all so this basically information you should definitely know friends and you should also know about the normalization procedure so these are the details that will be given the scorecard for life sciences friends so thank you friends thanks for watching this video